How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and last time I took out Bugsy in three hits. It was really sad. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That was that was pretty pathetic. Um, but Cantaloupe just totally dominated there. That was just insane. Um, so yeah, here's a look at my party really quick. As you can see, Cantaloupe is uh, way over leveled now, but that's okay. Um, then we have everyone else who's like pretty good. Pretty good. No casualties so far. Feeling kind of good about that. Kind of lucky, actually. But I know it gets a lot more difficult later on in the game. When I first did my Black Wedlock way back in... I don't know, it was sometime in 2011. Like, December... November or December 2011. Um, I... Let's see. I mean, it started off slow, but then it escalated so quickly once random trainers start using, like, good stuff. So, just because it's not high action right yet doesn't mean it won't be that way. I honestly have no clue how this will work on Heart Gold or Soul Silver, so we're gonna see. Anyway, um, yeah, here's one more look. I don't know why I'm doing this, but whatever. I have to fight ARMS! I know, he's right here, and he's kind of tough. But I think Lettuce puts me in good shape. I think so. We're gonna find out. Cross your fingers, everyone. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is why I warned you not to go over here, because as soon as you do, legs appear, I mean arms appears. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them. Ha! Quit lying. Are you serious? Then let's see how good you are. Oh, snap! We have to fight against arms! You are challenged by rival arms! And he leads with this ghastly, and this thing is always such a pain because it loves to use curse right off the bat. And that is just so not fun. I don't know if I'm faster than it or not. I'd love to hit it with sleep po Oh, wait. No one? Yeah, it has levitate. It would be put to sleep. Oh, it's so difficult, because I could totally mess this up. Because um, I don't know if Confusion will do enough to knock it out. It's level 14. I'm going to go for it. There we go. Love that sleep powder. <laughs> when it's 97.5% accurate. Or 97.5%. You should never use halves and percentages. <laughs> um, it, it's just so nice. Oh, I guess I would have been able to knock it out in one hit anyway. Wow. I underestimated your strength, Lettuce. Good job. Zubat. Okay, this is really easy. Um, I'm even going to use Apricot here. Just to save Lettuce's strength. I know that, um, you know, Lettuce would be able to take out that Zubat. No problem. But, you know, it's also about, about sharing. So let's hit it with Fury Swipes. Or at least, let's try. Seems like I always miss with that attack. Right now my accuracy is at 50%. Ugh, supersonic. Come on. Let's go for it. Yeah! Oh, you just get so many critical hits, Apricot. It's insane. Okay, so here's the tough one, then. Bailey. Now... You can see why I really needed someone else to take them on, because Turnip and Cantaloupe would get wrecked by that thing. But, thanks to uh, Lettuce here, I'm feeling great about this Bayleaf. Feeling great about it. Say, you've got a lot of nerve coming here. Alright, let's hit it with Sleep Powder. Just to make sure it doesn't do anything crazy. Because I'd hate it if it did something crazy. That's never any fun. It has, like, Reflect and Synthesis, I know. And then it, it can hit you with... Oh, I don't remember if it's Razor Leaf or Magical Leaf. But it hits you with something. And it just keeps hurting over and over again. Oh my goodness. This is why I hate this thing. It takes forever to kill. Oh, man. And this is super effective and same type attack bonus. And it's going to be three hits. Now imagine if it wasn't. That's ridiculous. There's no way I could lose to a wimp like you. That's why I was so worried about this thing. 
because it just tanks. It tanks so much. There's not a lot you can do against it. And Bayleaf in particular seems to be really hard because there's not a lot you can even get that's super effective. Now, I managed to take it out with no problem, but, you know, you only won because my Pokemon were weak. Mm-hmm. Um, I hate the weak. Pokemon. Trainers. It doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They think they are big and tough as long as they are in a group. But get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. Okay. How are you feeling about this? <laughs> Lettuce seems to be very happy. Well, obviously, just show that thing up. Um, I should probably pick up my... I'm working! Don't bother me! Well, good to see you, too. He really looks like he's working. He's just standing there. You call that working? You have this gigantic table, and it has all these tools and stuff. But you're just standing there, and you're saying you're working? Um, alright. So, where in the world is that lazy guy? That lazy guy, where in the world is he? Where in the world is that lazy guy? Never mind. We're not looking for Carmen San Diego here. So now we can go to the Ilex Forest safely. There's nothing we have to worry about because we took out the main threat quite easily at that. It's a pretty place. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to leave with Carrot because there's not really any... I don't think there's any uh, trainers in here. Oh, but I'm going to take that shell bill. Oops. Darn it. Okay, there we go. This is probably going to get very annoying. It was so nice when I had the battle scene off. But yeah, anyway. Hey, you! With the glasses and the face. Oh man, my boss is going to be angry. That Farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face toward you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? Oh sure, why not? I can try. I have nothing better to do tonight. Ordish! Ordish! Oh my gordish. I kind of want an Oddish. Darn it. <laughs> it has effect spore, I think. I mean, it could. So I don't even want to touch that thing. It could mess me up. Now, I don't see ears on that bird. What's that all about? I mean, I know they have those internal things, but... Uh, Farfetch, notice you. It seems to face the direction of the noise when you step on a branch. Oh, look at that. It noticed me. I got noticed. All right, this is so easy, though. It took me forever to figure this out at first in the Japanese version because I think there was, like, something else. Like, I don't know. It, it was just different than I remembered it being. And these Ordishes are everywhere. Ugh. All right. Quah! You snuck up and caught it from behind before it noticed you. Yeah, got you from behind. Wow, you found a Farfetch. Thank you. But... There's one more missing. If you step on a branch, it will face that way, remember? Duh. That's your chance to catch it. Sneak up on it slowly from behind. Wow, you're a noble soldier, aren't you? Okay. There are too darn many Ordishes here. Ordish. Just don't want to fight any of them because they always hit you with something nasty. It's really gross. Oh, there's that far-fetched. I have to lure it over... Oh, where do I have to lure it to? I'm trying to remember. I know I have to go around there. I think I have to sneak up on it from this way. Hey! Hey! Better run away! Yeah! Yeah, you better scoot. No, maybe this isn't right. No. Oh, wait. Ah, ha, ha. All right. <laughs> I know. I'm playing with a Farfetch. This is so sad. There are so many Ordishes here. I'm just going to switch out 
to lettuce because I could actually be fighting these things. And you're so grossly overpowered anyway. Butterfree is amazing! Oh my goodness. So amazing. Qua! Yeah! Got you from behind! What you gonna do about that? Wow, you got me both of them. Thank you so much. My bosses as a Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. <laughs> Phew, you saved me. Uh oh, he's gonna get smacked by this guy. Ah, my far and fetched. You found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know, here, take this. Whoa, that's quite all right. I mean, oh, HM1. Great, you teach me how to cut. That's the HM cut. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to do this whole scene. So thanks for being obvious there. Now, uh, I think if I leave, they will go back to whence they came. And then I can pick up a charcoal from them. I know after you do that whole thing, you can go back to their house. And you can get a charcoal from that lazy bum. It was kind of like a hint, but not everyone remembers that. And just like magic, they're back. I don't know how they beat me back, but whatever. You chased off Team Rocket and went to Ilex Forest alone. That takes guts. I like that. Come train with us. Train with us. Jump train with us. All right. Ah, uh, yes. This guy gives me some charcoal. Well, ain't that swell. Thanks, buddy. It means a lot, even though I don't have a fire Pokemon. Wah, wah, wah. Why am I so sad? It's okay. I don't need one. No, I do not. I need to start thinking of Whitney, the next gym leader. And she is a doozy. Oh my goodness. She could be rather crazy. I'm feeling all right with my team, but she will certainly put me to the test. And there are several challenging um, trainers coming up, like random ones that you don't really think are hard. And I don't remember what they all use. So, it could get kind of ugly. <laughs> We're gonna see. Anthony, why are you calling me? Why would you do this to me? Sup, this is Anthony. How are you? Lately, I've been running across wild rat attack quite often. They're easily taken care of. All right, then. Be good. <laughs> all right. You're just telling me about all the rat attack you've killed or something? Is, is that, like... I mean, do you feel good about this? Zubat. Oh, snap. Ooh, I hope I have something that can use cut. This is going to get very awkward if I do not. I just thought about that. Because I need cut in order to get through. And I can't really deposit Pokemon. I think Rattata can use cut. Kind of would stink if I had to do that, but... Okay, someone's going to be crippled by this awful move. Okay, actually a lot of Pokemon can learn it. That's just fine. Um, I, this is tough. Okay, what moves do you have? I wanna try figure out who will learn the least amount of stuff. And I'm gonna get rid of focus energy. You know what, well, quick attack, cut. You're gonna get headbutt in a moment and you're already fairly fast even though you have a negative nature. I, I, you know what? I don't think I need tail. Well, I don't need focus energy either. So you have like a ton of moves I can get rid of. We'll just get rid of focus energy. No crit hacks for you. Oh yeah. I wonder if anyone can learn a U-turn. Or roost for that matter. I don't think I'd really need roost, but... What the heck? Apricot can learn U-turn? Lettuce I almost can expect, but that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's actually really kind of cool. Three of my Pokemon can learn it. Huh, neat. Oh, Bullet Seed, you're so weak. If only you were like you were in the newer games. When I had Rock Tomb all this time. Oh, well. The deed is done. We can now cut this tree. Yeah, so you're probably wondering, why is it night? And if you looked at my Poke Gear, you probably saw... What? It's still Tuesday! Why are you doing this to me? Well, I just didn't want to record Wednesday night. 
because it's after that whole tournament thing and I was figuring I'm gonna be pretty exhausted so I'm just doing all this in one evening Tuesday night so any of the comments that were made on the gym leader episode I haven't read or I haven't addressed you know since making this video obviously all right Ilex Forest Shrine it's a tribute to the forest protector there's like a lot of trailing ellipsis there ellipses Lipsi. I, I don't even know. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just making stuff up at this point. Um, let's take this thing out because you know what? Sure. Makes no sense not to. Okay, great. I have to get rid, or I mean, I have to get through this forest. I have to get rid of this forest. <laughs> that would take a while. And there are too darn many Pokemon in here. Gosh darn it all. And I can't even catch any of them. But you know what? I will be able to catch, um, what will I be able to catch? Something coming up. Oh, I could get a Drowsy. They're really good. Ordish. Yeah, I think there's... Drowsy and oh, what else is on Route 34? Because that's what's coming up next. I know that's where the breeding place is. I know there's Ditto too, and a lot of people have been asking about Ditto. Well, this is a no-brainer. Ditto doesn't have a gender. You can't catch it. It's against the rules. It's as simple as that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> But, there are a few other Pokemon around. Um, let's see. What else to talk about? I only have, like, I think one Repel, so I don't really want to have to use that right now. I mean, I could, but it's like, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Antidote. Cool. Cool. Antidote. That's good. That is a good thing. Um, there's the Headbutt guy. That's going to be great. In fact, I should really go back to Cherry Grove City sometime and try to headbutt things. I think I'll wait until I can get my love balls, though. Oh man, why am I using confusion? Actually, there's a good answer to that, because even though Gust will hit for more damage, it's like confusion will knock it out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, there's that girl. She's so weird. Okay, you are going to teach my Pokemon headbutt. But first, uh, uh, he's derping about against that tree. Hey, stop derping. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here, you try it with your Pokemon too. Which Pokemon should learn it? I know, that's pretty great. He is pretty much an epic derp. Like, dude, what are you doing? You're just smashing your head against a tree. Like, did you think that was a good idea? Like, really? Okay, I'm getting rid of Fury Swipes. At this point, there is no reason for it. Headbutt is amazing. It's 70 power, you can teach it unlimited times, and it has a chance of flinching. What more could you ask for? That's pretty great. There, do you like it? Your apricot looks stronger. Okay, great. Plus, you can also use it to knock Pokemon out of the trees and try to catch them. Pretty much any Pokemon that still has Scratch or Tackle or things like that should have those moves replaced with Headbutt. Um, I'm going to actually keep Quick... At oh, this is tough. I don't, I don't know if I need Quick Attack or not. Because it's like you're not the fastest Rattata. You're probably in the lower percentage of Rattata. Well, I haven't really used Tail Whip either. Headbutt is just like a must-have on you. Oh, man. I think we're going to get rid of Tail Whip. The best things in these types of challenges are the things that raise your stats, and particularly defensive stats. So Tail Whip I don't think will be as helpful. It's a little redundant with Quick Attack, but when I get Hyper Fang... Actually, I guess it doesn't matter, because I have Headbutt, which is more accurate. 
Um, alright, turnip. This is more effective than bite, so let's see what we can do about this. What do you still have? Oh, there's that scary face, which I actually think Leer is a better bet. So we're going to get rid of scary face, because I don't like it. I think it's bad. All right, this will hit even harder than bite. I like that. Okay, great. Now what else can I teach this to? I should really teach this to cantaloupe, even though it probably will not matter because I think rock throw hits just as hard anyway. And you don't even get the chance to flinch. Yeah, you know what? You probably don't need it. 70 power. Like, Rock Throw with the Stab is going to hit for 75 anyway. You're so slow that you'll never hit things with Flinch. Um, these two, Magnitude and Rock Throw together, actually covers a lot. I'm going to leave this off of you. I see. Take care of its head. <laughs> All right. Uh, who am I missing? I'm missing Pear. Wait, can Pear learn that? Oh, that'd be awesome. Let's get rid of Wrap. And lettuce, but lettuce really has no need at all for headbutt. You're too cool for that. Alright, sorry I've been boring you for the past, I don't know, ten minutes or so. Seems like it. Oh, what? Can't learn headbutt. What a ripoff. I see, take care of its head. Yeah, you too, buddy. You too. Ugh. A wild Zubat appeared. Oh my. It don't say. Haven't seen enough of those. Okay, um, yeah. So, what else to talk about? Well, let's see what she has to do. Alright, are you ready to dance, Lettuce? Kimono girl, kimono girl, lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark Ilex forest. That doesn't even rhyme. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? No. Find your own way. Me oh my, you are lost yourself, aren't you? Oh, why do you have to do the right thing, Lettuce? You're such a bookworm. Wow, are you going to show me how to get out? You are such a smart Pokemon. See you. One of these days, I'm going to have to teach you irony. Um, alright, so we have an ether. Cool. Oh, let's just try headbutt something. Like, I didn't even do that. Come on, Apricot, do it. <laughs> oh! Oh, I get to fight something. Me oh my. It's a hoot hoot! Well, ain't that a hoot. Okay, these are going to be a pain to try to catch. Because they're oftentimes low level. Oh my goodness, Joey was calling me. I wonder what he wanted to talk about. Probably his Rattata. Probably his Rattata. Oh, man. Oh, well. Oh, well. I dodged it. What? Sorry. Can't hear you. You're not getting reception here. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're almost out. Doesn't seem like it's been super long. So I think I'll actually do Route 33 as well. Did you see the shrine that pays homage to the Protector? This Protector watches over the forest from across time. I think that it must be a Grass-type Pokemon. What makes you think that? Hey, nice Butterfree. Free! Oh, I can't quite do it right. Oh, honey, you're making a Pokedex. You must be battling all kinds of Pokemon. Try using this TM for a change. Right on, TM12. It's Taunt. Use it and the target Pokemon can only use moves that do damage to your Pokemon for a while. This is awesome. We're both looking at each other. And our Butterfreeze are both looking at each other. Our eyes. They've met. I have to go. Um, alright, yeah, so Route 33... 34! Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Obviously. Um, oh man. I think we're gonna have these two fight. Oh, actually, now that Carrot has Headbutt, he should do pretty good. And he needs to start catching up in level, too. You have to be strong if you want to live. Trainer tips. North to Goldenrod City. The radio tower at Goldenrod is giving away radio cards. Answer their questions and receive a radio card. 
Oh my goodness, I have to fight this guy. This is where I do my training. Training. <laughs> this is where I do my training. Training. Youngster Samuel. Oh my goodness, he has so many Pokemon. It's like a little Pokemon buffet. Wait, I think that's my team. Oh, quick attack. That headbutt is so strong. Oh, that's right, and you have the Shell Bell. That's pretty great, even though you're only healing like two hit points. Sandshrew, ugh, but why am I complaining about this? I have Pear. I'm gonna switch to Pear right now. Just because Sandshrew can hit a little harder than you may think. So I don't want to, you know, chance it by switching out. All right, let's hit it with Vine Whip. Smack! Yeah! And a Spearow, ooh. Not exactly favorable here. <laughs> well, it's not very strong, so that's nice. Let's hit it with a headbutt. And... You're fully healed! Yay! That's some good news right there. And another Spearow! Oh my. Oh man, I thought he had like a Marie. But I know someone around here has a Marie. I've played this game too darn many times. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Dude. If you fail in practice, then you have to try harder. I'm aiming to be a gym leader. Ew, water. Oh, I should probably see what my Pokemon is here, huh? I'm going to use Pear, although this could get rather disastrous if I do happen to run into a Drowsy. But I can put it to sleep. Oh, wait, it has Insomnia. At least I think it does. Darn it, I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to actually use Turnip. A little bit more reliable. All right. What will my encounter be on Route 34? Oh, I could try Smash a Tree, too, but there's some cool Pokemon in here. I want to find out what they are myself. My encounter on Route 34 is... I already have a Rattata. Wow, a level 13 Rattata. My word. So strong. All right, um, so that was dupes number one. I don't count that. Because I already have a Rattata. Whoa! Abra! Shoot! That really kind of stinks. Because if I don't catch it... Oh, Fastball. Does it work on them? I honestly don't know if it still works on Abra. Well, it's either that or a Great Ball. Shoot! I don't remember... Oh, this is so sad. I, I think I actually have to like look this up right now. <laughs> I really need to know because they changed it. And that would really stink if, you know, I use the fastball and it didn't really work all that well, huh? Oh, no. And oh, well, it looks like my internet is down. Darn it all. I really want an Abra. That'd be so cool. Well, I don't have very good chances of catching it with a Great Ball. And I guess I don't really have that good of chances catching it with a Fast Ball, either. That's hard. Oh, how fast is that thing? I mean, it's not like I have to save it for Raikou. <sighs> well... Uh, I don't know if I should go with the Great Ball or the Fast Ball. I gotta get lucky either way, so let's just try the fast ball. Oh, though you're not fast. Darn it. I'm... Oh, well, I'm, I'm just gonna do the great ball, okay? I just have to take my chances. I'm probably not going to catch it anyway, because it teleports, but we're gonna try. Come on! Cross your fingers! Cross your fingers, everyone! Cross your fingers! Do it! Do it now! 
Yes! Oh yeah, that is so cool! Man, I caught an Abra in a wedlock! Oh wow, that is, like, amazing! <laughs> Whoa! That is a cool catch! That is really cool! I feel great! You're gonna be a pain to train, but... At least it's not too far till you evolve into Kadabra. Whew! That is great! Wow! Okay, what do I name you? I have not had to use, uh... I haven't had to use male names in a while. Oh, you know what? I actually had some kale this evening, and it was great. I fried it up. It was really good. It's healthy. And, uh... You know, I, I want to name you that. There's so many names I could name you that would work really well, but Kale, since I just had some, and I'm still thinking about it, I want to call you Kale. Plus, it's a cool name anyway. Kale. Kale the Abra. Wow, that is... I'm really happy about that encounter. I was thinking to get a drowsy or something. Um, right, so... I'm going to switch back for Carrot now. Ooh, that has me so excited. So, the next male Pokemon that dies, I know who I'm replacing it with. I don't even have a choice, anyway. He's my only other male Pokemon. Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. No, we do this for real! Picnicker Gina. I mean, Gina. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to do that. I know. I know. Mildly inappropriate, but at the same time, you were thinking it too. You know it. All right, let's do headbutt. <laughs> oh, why did I just say that? I'm so wrong. No! Oh, but I have quick attack. I have quick attack. What are you gonna do about that? And I caught an abra- Bulbasaur? What? 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 Actually, you're my best bet right now, Carrot. Oh, level 12. Oh man, Headbutt is so good on you. This is so nice. It's just amazingly strong. And another Hoppip! Oh my goodness. Who has the Mareep then? I know someone around here has a Mareep. I don't remember who. Oh, well, I'm gonna find out before too long. Maybe it's just that Sandshrew that I was all worried about. Oh no, I just can't win. Oh no. Whenever I see a strong trainer, I want to be their cheerleader. When I'm out on a walk, I sometimes pick up items. If I find anything, you can have it. Want to give me your number? I'll call whenever I get anything. Sure, why not? I'll call as soon as I get anything. Good. Get to work. Ratata! I don't need you! Because I have an Abra! Yeah! I'm so awesome now. Even though it does mean I don't get Machop. Although I wasn't going to trade for it anyway. I just got my Pokemon back from daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. Right, let's see, Brandon. Oh, Snubble. Level 13. Mm. Darn you, Intimidate. Ugh, I hate it. Ugh. Whoa, that hit way harder than I thought. Uh. Mm, I might have to switch out, actually. Charm! I know I have to switch out now. All right, you're not charming me. No. We're gonna have Pear finish this off. Tail Whip. Yikes! This thing is just lowering stats all over the place. Um, I'm gonna just go straight for the Vine Whip. I think that should do enough. Oh yeah, critical hit. And, oh, you're the guy with the Mareep. Okay, um, actually, I think Pear's probably my best bet. Just gotta dodge that static. Let's hit it with Sleep Powder. Come on. 
Ah, why are you growling? All right, um... Okay, I'm gonna take this opportunity to switch out to Carrot really quick, just so I don't get affected by that darn growl forever. Oh, what is that? Come on! Ay 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 ay! All right, that officially stinks. <laughs> All right, work as a team. Come on, you can do it. Oh, much better. Much better indeed. Stay asleep, sheep. Don't have to count again. All right. Jeez. Guess it's hard to count yourself. Just watch. Static is going to trigger. Just because it always does. I mean, it didn't that time, which is nice, but... But, will it work? Will it work? Yeah, no static. So good. Why does it end this way? <laughs> um, that is a very good question. Mother. Mother. Hello. Oh, hi, Legs. How are you? I found a useful item while shopping. So I bought it with your money. Sorry. Uh, you bought something with my money? My mom, the shopaholic, spending my money. Ugh. Why? All right, I gotta use a potion right now. He'll carry it up after that little escapade. That was close. Jeez. That guy. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm the best in my class at Pokemon. The best in your class. What class is that? The class of losers? Oh snap. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Carrot, you're not having a good time, are you, buddy? We'll switch out for Pear. Leer, yikes. Okay, Um. at least it's not at a very high level. That's reassuring. Still hits fairly strong. So do I. Focus energy. All right, focus really hard before I hit you with a whip. Yeah. And a Diglett. I feel good about this. I feel real good, oh yeah. Sand attack? No, I don't feel so good anymore. Ugh. You're the worst. You're the worst thing ever! Oh, you stupid little pimple! I'm gonna get rid of you. I'm gonna pop you. Let's play whack-a-mole. Except with your face as the mole. <laughs> Okay, there we go. No, there are better trainers. Yep, there are. Hmm, if you transferred into my class, I'd become the second best student in my class, wouldn't I? I want to get stronger before that could happen, so would you trade phone numbers with me? Then we can have Pokemon battles together. Sure, why not? You're just going to call me up and talk about your Pokemon all the time anyway. You can call me too. Carrot seems to be very happy. Well, that's good. I don't know why you're so happy, but whatever. Let's see, he'll pair up. Um, hmm. Grandpa! Oh, it's Ethan and his Meryl. Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as can be. You look fit, too. Hey, Legs! Hey, Ethan. Let me introduce you. This is Legs. She's a trainer. She has legs. She seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Follow me, Legs. Okay, why not? Why are you never really helpful or do anything? You just run around with your Meryl. Although it is a very cute Meryl. Let me introduce my friend. This is Legs. Aha, this is your girlfriend. I see. Hmm. Oh, just because, you know, he called me Legs. Right, that's not a nickname. <laughs> what? Grandma, what are you talking about? She just happens to live nearby. Ha ha ha. I know, I know. Since you took her here, Ethan, you must be sure about her talent. 
About her talent, huh? Right, Legs, come and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya. See ya! Oh, I almost forgot. Here, this is my Pokegear number. So we've been friends for how long, and I didn't even get your number? Uh, whatever. Alright, they do all sorts of cute stuff in the cities and things, whatever. We are both trainers, and we are supposed to exchange numbers. That's all. That's all it is, I swear, guys. What do you think about that? Carrot is looking down steadily. I wonder why. <laughs> this place, it has so much energy, right? Alright, so when it comes to breeding Pokemon here, I guess you could do that, but it's not really, like, I mean, it's, it's tough to do because you don't know what the gender of the egg is going to be. You really should not be depositing Pokemon. It counts as your encounter on Route 34, Route 34, uh, according to my rules at least. Um, so, you know, you have to be mindful of that, but... I don't have any of my Pokemon that can breed, but if I did, I guess instead of catching that Abra, I could let them breed or something. I, I don't even know. Whoa! Oh shoot! He saw me! I totally spaced. Uh, what's with you? What are you doing? Oh darn it, these guys are hard. Or at least they can be. I know there's one somewhere around here that has like this massively powerful growl. No! It's you! Oh my god, what do I even do? I thought he was further in the route. I didn't even notice him. There. Um, I got so distracted talking. Oh man, I'm gonna have to just try headbutt it. I cannot switch right now because that would be disastrous for poor Pear. Okay, you can flinch this thing. Just don't run out of PP because that would be really bad. Oh, this is not cool. Lear, no! Oh. Okay, okay, just keep at it. Come on, keep doing it. You're almost there. You've almost got this, Carrot. You're at full strength. Uh-oh. Oh, man. But you've got this now. Wow, thank goodness for that flinch. I would be sunk if I didn't have that happen. That thing would have just destroyed my pair. Okay, well, Carrot, you have, uh, you've defended your loved one. <laughs> you don't have to worry about the night when you're with strong Pokemon. Dude, you're like one of those cops that, that beats people. That's not right, man! You were trying to beat me! Mommy! Oh, I don't even know. That was scary. I'm not saying all cops are like that, by the way, but, you know, there are people in any position who are always abusing their power, and that's not right. It doesn't matter who they are. Um, you know, those kind of people, they really dishonor those who are doing the honorable thing. That's not right. And that guy was one of those dishonorable ones! I'm confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. Wanna see? That was way scary. Oh man, if it hadn't been for that flinch, ugh, I would have been taken out. It would have been a double wipe, I'm sure of it. But it was not meant to be for today. Disable? What? You just disabled my headbutt. Darn duck, ugh. Oh, that's all. Didn't I train enough? Apparently you did not. We should both train our Pokemon more and have another battle. So we should really exchange phone numbers, don't you agree? Oh, sure, why not? I love it when people call me. Okay, see you later. Bye. And then there's an item over there. Cool. Oh, there's that drowsy. See, I was looking all over for a drowsy. Well, not really, but, like, that's what I figured I'd have. But no, I got an Abra, and I caught it in the first ball, and I feel so great about that. That is really cool. And you got pretty strong, Apricot. I like that. 
Right on, TM63 embargo. Well, wow, there's just a lovely move. I don't think it'll even come in handy. It's that sad. I think maybe. You never know. In a challenge like this, sometimes really weird moves end up being amazing. I doubt this will ever be amazing, but I'm just saying. It could be. Very well could be. Wow, these drowsies give so much experience. Oh, I love them already. Uh, yeah, what do you think? What? Why are you so confused? Huh? Apricot is holding something. Um, no, you, you can hold on to it. It's okay. What? Oh, yay. Well, <laughs> she's happy to have found something. Well, that's really cute. All right. Uh, yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, we're right at the gate to Goldenrod City. But I think this is a good place to stop the episode. We narrowly dodged a total wipe to that officer guy. He was trying to tase me, bro. And, uh, or he was, he was the pepper spray guy. Yeah, that's it. He was! He was trying to ember me with pepper spray. Um, right. Anyway, I will see you in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock. See you next time, officers!